Okay, step number one is to move the seats all the way to the forward and the upright position as much as possible to give you plenty of room to work into the rear cab. The second step you're going to do is to actually remove the seat belt, which is really easy to do. You, you can see there's a little uh, switch or lever in there. You just can go ahead and push that in. With You can use a screwdriver or anything. And that pops right out. Just got to loosen that up. And now you're just going to push these in. And there's a flap under here. You just go ahead and flip it up so you can kind of reach up in here. You can just pull this out. There you, there you go. go. So now these are out. Then the next step is you're going to do is you're going to have. Okay. And there's two flaps right here. And the easiest way to do it with this one is just go ahead and slide it right off. And so there you go. So now you can see right here, there's two little lids or little flaps and there's a main one that goes all the way the length across there and so this next one you're just gonna have to like push and pull and work this and you're, you're trying to separate those two flaps from one another there you go and so once you work the angle right go up in now you can just slide your finger right across and it's gonna break the flap seal and then this comes up as you can see there's another flap right here another one right here and these very easily just remove right off the metal just like that and you can do the exact same thing on this side just pop this one off it doesn't require much strength or anything you just take these off okay so that parts off now we're gonna have to get a little bit higher okay so next step we're gonna go ahead and move both these plastic brackets this one and this one so we can work up higher up on the seat now you can buy these tools which will remove the clips and there's two clips here two clips here underneath this bracket holding them on and uh, you can buy these for eight dollars at Harbor Freight. You can probably find them online as well. You can use a screwdriver. You're just going to have to use a little bit more care uh, when removing them. So we're able to go ahead and remove these clips. Like I said, there's two of them here, and there's one facing up. So we're just going to go ahead and work it between the clip and go ahead and pop it off. There's one. There's two. Okay, and you can see they just pop off and those are the clips I was talking about. It's going to be the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, and an easy way to keep this flap open, or the whole back upholstery open, so you can see all this, is uh, go ahead and use your rear seat belt. You already got it here. Just go ahead and run it through. There's quite a bit back here, so you just pull it all the way up. You can just run it through the back seat the headrest and just go ahead and tie it off it up you don't have to worry about it you'll be able to work from here and here see everything so what we went ahead and did is put a flat bar 1 8 inch flat bar behind the plate and what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and mark the holes for uh, installing the flat bar the first hole we're going to mark we're going to start here on the left side and we're going to do four bolts, so we're going to mark a top hole and a bottom hole. Okay, so you can see those dots there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on our right side. Now that we have our holes marked, we're going to go ahead and drill these. Drill the four holes. We're going to start off with a 1 8 inch drill bit or smaller. Okay, so once you have drilled the four holes with a one inch, one eighth inch drill bit or smaller. Okay, so we went ahead and used our Sharpie marker to indicate where we want to stop on our step bit. You can use the step bit at any, you can get these at any big box store, or you can use your drill bit set, your traditional ones, and incrementally go up. This is just a little bit of faster approach if you happen to have one already. So, we went ahead and took our 1 8 inch thick flat bar and 
painted it black only because uh, so it doesn't rust because this carpet's going to be covering it you're not going to see it anyway but what we're going to do is go ahead and place it back behind there and get where we need to actually drill so make sure that we are even so look relatively even yep so then what we're going to do is go ahead and use our punch here now that we've indicated all of our holes you could use a marker or something else if you needed to we just happen to have this punch so we used it that way I'm going to take out the flat bar and go ahead and drill the hole for this now Okay, so we went ahead and mounted the flat bar on the inside and you'll notice the reason why it's on the inside is if you were to pull on this, you have to pull the entire bar through the two seat brackets rather than just rip the bolts off. So it's a much more added strength that way. So what you do is you're going to take your bolt and your washer and feed it through the back side. Okay. Once you've feeded it through, then you're going to go ahead and put your lock washer and your nut on your bolt. And obviously you will tighten them all down. Hand tighten them first and then follow through with a wrench on one side. Uh, you can use a standard wrench or a crescent wrench and tighten down with a socket on the other end. All the way around. I want to go ahead and test fit the Arma 15 with the rifle on and find out exactly how you want it. If you want it at a slight angle, if you want it straight up and down, or and then also the height. You can use any of the mounting holes on here. You got these two bottom ones. You have one here that's a keyhole and a center hole, and then the top hole. You can use any combination. For this application, what we're going to do is we're going to be using the two bottom and the top of this hole. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We've marked our uh, exactly how we want it. We test fitted it with the rifle. We put the seat down and made sure that the rifle fit. Um, the reason why we're putting it up as high as we are is we want clearance for the pistol grip to not touch the bottom of the seat here. Okay, so that's, we're going to go ahead and start drilling the hole now. Next we're going to use our step bit. Anytime you're drilling too, it also helps if you have a little bit of cutting oil. Uh, you can also use motor, motor oil or any kind of lubricant to help you with your drill bit. Reload. <laughs> well, that made a big difference. Okay, now we're just going to drop this down. Now that we have everything mounted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find the plate and kind of put our finger right where we think the hole is. And it's right there. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we pull down the carpet all the way. Make sure it kind of lines up with everything else. So when you finally install it, there won't, it won't be loose. And we're just going to make some small cuts right through the carpet. We, we don't want to cut anything more than we have to. We just want to be able to get the bolt through. 
and as you can see it's already through the first half of the carpet and there's a hole and it's gonna mount it's kind of hard to see but it's directly over the hole and that's what we want you can see it right there there we have our first hole so we're going to do the same thing for the other two holes. Rolling. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and put a bolt in just like that. So it's actually marking the spot so that this carpet doesn't move. Now we're going to do the same. Now we're going to cut the holes for the other two. Okay. And so all those bolt holes do line up now. And so when we put this carpet down, we know that everything is going to be flush again and you're not gonna have big gaps and you're actually gonna be able to put everything at the very end together. Okay, so since we're gonna be using the keyhole in this one, we're gonna go ahead and start off with that since it's out on top and uh, where we're gonna work our way from top down. Um, we don't have to use this device when we're initially mounting it because we're gonna be able to just leave some room to slide it down on. Okay, so all we needed right now is the Allen key bolt as well as our nut. And we'll go ahead and start with putting our nut and line it up with the hole just like that. Go ahead and get the bolt through. Just get this started. There we go. Now we've pushed the bolt through the hole and it's locked it into place and now we're just gonna go ahead and use our lock washer and nut. Just put those on the back. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and test the Arma 15 on the bracket before we reinstall the rest of the carpet. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide it on and throw our lock on. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and lay the seat down and see that everything, nothing is touching back behind there and the seat goes flush all the way down. Um, we've tested that under there. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the carpet now. So now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the holstery. We're gonna go ahead and start with this, this side pieces first. We're gonna go ahead and put this in, just like we took it off. Put that on. Put these little side ones on as well. Same thing on this side. Now that those four are on, we're gonna go ahead and install the main piece. And just like you took it off, now you're gonna have to push it back on over these two lips. And you're just gonna kinda have to push and pull till it starts feeding on. I got that side going. Just work your way down. And there we go. So that main piece is now on. Now for the final piece. Go ahead and install this on that main flap. And now your upholstery is all the way done. Go ahead and drop this down. Make sure everything looks good. Okay, now that we installed our last flap right here, we're gonna go ahead and install these plastic brackets. Go ahead and line these up. Alright, all, all four of those are now on. Let me do this without moving the rifle. Alright. Alright, so now all the plastic brackets are installed. Now we have one more piece to do. That's you're gonna have to go ahead and feed the seatbelt back through. 
and it's easiest to just go ahead and do one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this smaller one. Just drop down the seat and grab it and pull it, start working it through. All right. Now, we're gonna have to do the main part. And again, just through. And there we go. And of course, Thank you. 